Roger, um, thank you very much for taking time today. I'm oh, a huge fan. Yep. Um, I appreciate um, you taking time out to speak to Eastern film fans. Uh, it's an absolute honour and a privilege. Um, Beautiful Disaster, by the way, is fantastic. I've seen it. A fantastic film, and I'd like to get onto that in a minute yep. if I can. But I'd just like to go back a little bit, which I do with all my guests, and understand the journey that you went on to get here and and what, if anything, was the spark or the passion that drove you to to start being, you know, the accomplished director, producer, screenwriter that you are, obviously, today? Um, two films. I'm going to take, take two films that, that really kind of rock my world. The first one is The Poseidon Adventure. Awesome. That was the thing that, that, that just blew my mind as a kid and still today. And I could, I could spend a whole podcast raving <laughs> about that movie. At Christmas time, Gene Ackman and stuff. I used to watch it as a kid with the family because we only had three channels as a kid. Love that. Because it's, 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 it's the first movie where, and it's the only movie where the optimists die. And the pessimists live, and it's a and and it's amazing. To this day, it's amazing because it's the first movie where it's like life isn't fair. Yeah, that's true. And and I just love that. I love that movie. I still love that movie. <laughs> and it, and then later in college, it was when I saw Manchurian Candidate, and I was like, I have to do this because yeah. it's just mind blowing. Um, but uh, I, you know, I I graduated uh, Northwestern in 1988 and I wanted to be a writer and I came out to L.A. right away and I was a writer for years. And, and uh, um, you know, I, uh, I I I wrote and I wrote with Marlene King. She was my writing partner for years and she went on to do Pretty Little Liars. And, and then I was mentored by Peter Farrelly of the Farrelly Brothers. You know, and and it was like, but it was like ten years of like working my craft. Uh, but but I didn't get I, I it I wasn't getting stuff made, and I I started writing like plays that you could do for ninety nine in ninety nine seat theaters out, uh, on Santa Monica Boulevard, yeah. and uh, not knowing anything about playwriting, and I, I put up plays, and and I won like the LA Weekly Award for for playwriting, and and you know. Uh, um, but, uh, my big break came in 1997. I wrote a play and, and I accosted David Schwimmer. I was drunk at a bar and I accosted him and he agreed <laughs> to do a play of mine. And, uh, uh, we put up a play called D girl and, and it was a hit in LA. And that was the same year that I had an idea to do, um, Le Lezon Dangereux and set it in high school. Um, and with, uh, uh, uh prep school mean teens um and and i took my what i learned from directing actors on stage and i make cruel intentions and that's it uh, cruel intentions and uh yeah bought the t-shirt um as you can see thank you uh, <laughs> you're welcome uh which is fantastic by the way and i had to and this is why uh, i've been a fan i had to speak to you about cruel intentions because it's one of those that defined a generation certainly for us me and the wife were talking about it earlier and stuff it was just a fantastic film and coming to that point was that the film i i, I think i remember reading and clear this up we talk about crawly tensions it was like the first film in in saying that you wanted to direct as a, a director you wanted to direct that movie yeah obviously you're ready obviously you, you wrote the adaption for it but it was something you really wanted to direct as a first movie because it was your first movie to direct it was my first movie it was uh uh you know and it was kind of like um arrogance you know and i didn't have a wife or kids it's amazing <laughs> when people go like what how did you I go, I, I don't think I, I would have had the cojones to yeah, do yeah. it today, you know, when people, I, I I had that script and I was hot off this play and, mm. and everyone wanted the script and they were like, who's going to direct it? And I said, I am. And they're like, what else have you directed? And I go, besides my play, nothing. But I said, but you can't have it. Uh, unless I direct it and you're going to surround me with incredibly talented people and I'll direct the actors and leave everyone else alone. And that's it. Um, and, and they said, yes. <laughs> and, and, but I was just like, you know, I think I, I, I but I had nothing to lose, you know, no, exactly. I, I, like I had a little apartment and, you know, I know. Just gonna, yeah. today I would have gone, I would have gotten spooked. 
<laughs> and not done it. So, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, yeah. young. It's about like, the arrogance of youth. Yeah, exactly, isn't it? And and it would be great and stuff because if there's fans or people just tuning in and understanding stuff about you as a director, and I know I've read it and stuff, but it'd be great to hear it from you. Um, in in how you got the cast together, because I know obviously Ryan, Michelle, um, I, 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 and I, I, stuff. Um, there's a little story there because you you did to kind of. To get it's to not that board. you know you'd like to say like oh we went through hundreds of hours yeah, exactly yeah, we went exactly. through nothing we yeah. went through nothing neil moritz was the producer and he goes i just made this movie i know what you did last summer and there's these two actors and uh, and i had met them both earlier i think or i met sarah uh but uh i think they're great ryan uh and and sarah who and sarah i knew from buffy and i'm like yeah. okay I just went, okay. <laughs> I was so happy to get the movie made. And and I was like, so half of them were done there, yes. And then and then uh, um um we couldn't cat we couldn't decide on who was gonna play the third lead. Uh the studio and I were kind of uh you know, we couldn't agree and, and uh we um and then on one night I was hanging out with Ryan, I'm like, what about your girlfriend? Um and he goes, yeah, yeah, she'd be great. And then we, t I said, let's take her out and get her drunk. And then we ended up going out and getting drunk. And then I just literally got on my hands and knees. I'm like, please do it, just oh, do it. And she got, and she I was know. like, this, she was like, the script needs to be rewritten. And I'm like, come over to my house, we'll rewrite it, we'll rewrite it. I mean, you can't do that today. You can't do no, that. No, you can't. And I wanted you to tell the story because I, I. Yeah, no, you can't do that today. And just, and like. Oh, it would be agents involved and studio and Reese came over and we rewrote the part. Yeah, we fantastic. rewrote it together. And yeah. and it and Selma we found through casting. Yeah. That's how it was. Yeah. And, you know, no, those, those days don't exist. No, they don't. They don't. Um no. I'm questioning so I'm gonna look quickly. I love the sweet thing. I love just friends. Like I say, you thank you. You did thank those you. forms and they were fantastic. So thank you. But let's get on to a beautiful right. disaster and, and bring up today. Um because um how did you how did the opportunity come about and stuff you know i've seen with your work especially you've got um and i've done a lot of tv etc but when you come yeah. up those the the ones that you're directing it seems to be you you have something you're either picking up a book that you see or you know, want to adapt to yeah something I, I, I how did this I, one come about this is like you know again it's like i i don't think i learned the rules or or i don't follow something right i i literally was on this app goodreads and i and i found i saw this book and it was at the top of a bunch of lists and i just reached out to the author and and got the right i and i said can i wow. you know it was lying dead in turnaround buried at a studio with yeah, yeah. much money against it and it would either be a passion flicks movie or something and and i just i i just specced it on my own and left the the the, the other drafts of it alone and i made it my own and and the studio i made the uh the my last movie with they were they were like if you go to bulgaria and shoot it in 25 days we'll make it and i'm like okay um, and that, I mean, that's a short version, yeah, yeah, the short version, but, yeah, but, yeah. but that's really, you know, you just kind of bet on yourself like, all right, I'll got to write it for free, but then, you know, um, but it's kind of like, that's what you do. So again, with this, and I got that feel for it, you need to have kind of strong leads. I think, um, Dylan Spray's Virginia Garden actually nail it because you need that chemistry. Cause without that, you're never going to. Yeah, you're never gonna yeah. deliver it on screen. You're never gonna deliver that story unless, and they do have that. Do you have any say from a casting point of view, or that they just? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. Dylan reached out to me, and I worked okay. with him on my previous films. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, knew, yeah. I knew he had it. Yeah. That I was. Yeah. Ginny, I found through the casting process, and and um, um, I just knew from her work and all that, and it was like there's a risk because you're casting during COVID, yeah. but. Like, she and I and Dylan got together twice before Bulgaria. Um, and I could just tell she she's a tough chick. Yeah. Um, she's a tough chick. Like uh, she was going to be able to take him on. Um, and then, you know, when we got there, like because I had control of the script, it wasn't like you have to say these words exactly. Um, I was like, 
we would workshop it like a play. So we would get together and rehearse. And if the scene isn't working, I'd rewrite it. Uh, so it, it would fit for the actors, you know, and, and that's how we do it. Um, so so I, I could meet them and, and make sure we had the best scenes. See, see, you don't play by the rules still. You say about this, but you still don't play by the rules. And it's working for you, by the way, so carry on. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I, I'm conscious of that the PR is going to say we've only got so much time, but I've got two more questions and I need to get them. Please, I'm go. going to fire away. So the first one is, what's next for you? Can we can we see a a, a follow up? Because I know there's a series of books. I haven't read the books, so hands up. Right, right, right. But I know there's a series of books. So are you going to be doing something more from that genre? Yeah, yeah. We we uh, uh, we were uh, the studios. Just as crazy as I am, they we were in post last year and uh, on beautiful disaster, and they were like, "Can you write? Can you write a, a a sequel in 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 like five weeks that we can go shoot?" Wow. And I said, "Before the movie comes out, um, that's crazy." Um, <laughs> yes. And I was like, "Sure, yeah, let's okay. let's do it." Let's and do it. we <laughs> did it. Um, and so we're in post on that right now. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, so, so we're in post on that. And so this one comes out on May 2nd and then we're, we're in the process of figuring the second one out and we'll be back here in, in a year. And we'll do it all again. Excellent. Do uh, you know what? I can't wait. Cause I love it. I love the characters. I think they're fantastic. I think great with the casting now it for me. I love it. Uh, not having read the books, I say I want to read the books now, which is fantastic. So yeah, great. Right. That now right. I want to read, which is good. Final question from us, Eastern Film Fans question. So if you're stuck on a desert island and you can only take three films with you, it can be any genre you want, what three films would you take? Hard Day's Night. Um, Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it now, exactly. Look, uh, if we and, come back again, um, you can pick another three. So go on, go for oh, it. Oh, Godfather. Oh, yeah, come on. Excellent. Yeah. You got it. Exactly. Wonderful. Great picks. But it's been an absolute pleasure, short and sweet. I'm hoping we can come back around again and we'll do it all again. Um, uh, and, and I wish you well in everything you do. So, yes, please uh, stay safe, be well. And thank you very much from Eastern Film Fans. Thanks, Phil. Thank you very much. You take care.